Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you a little bit about combining variables and um, doing different stuff with them. So the first thing we're going to do, instead of using this, these numbers, I'll create something that um, you guys might understand easier. We'll do like a basic attack system, so this will make it a little more fun. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a, a min attack and we'll just keep making these ints for now but we'll move on to floats eventually and stuff and max attack which will equal hmm we'll do 20 for now and then we can do a variable for like uh, attack power name it int and equal that to 2. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be creating a little tiny attack system. Now let's say we wanted to create a new function. We can call it, uh, we'll just call it attack. So in here we want to calculate uh, what our damage might be. So we'll make a variable. We'll call this damage. Equal that to random dot range. So what random dot range does is it takes two different variables or two different numbers and calculates a random one between the set values. So yeah, if it was uh, 1 to 5 it would do random number between 1 and 5 so it's just pretty much a random value that it calculates um, it just picks something at random so we'll use a uh, min attack comma max attack so min attack so it's between 1 and 20 and so we can even uh, mess around with this a little further by um, doing something in here like timesing it by attack power. So what this will do, so damage is our new variable. This is storing all this information. So whenever attack is called, it will randomly pick a number between 1 and 20 and it'll take that number and times it by our attack power which is 2. So if the n random number was 5 times it by 2 it would be 10. And a simple way to test this out is do debug dot log and put your variable damage in there. So this will show up at the bottom once you start the uh, the game. So you can test it that simple way to see the number and um, yeah to get attack to go at the start you just do like 